Canadian Americans are American citizens whose ancestry is wholly or partly Canadian. The term is particularly apt when applied or self-applied to people with strong ties to Canada, such as those who have lived a significant portion of their lives or were educated in Canada, and then relocated to the United States. To others, especially for those living in New England or the Midwest, a Canadian American is one whose ancestors came from Canada. The term Canadian refers to some as nationality, and to others as ethnicity. English-speaking Canadian immigrants easily integrate and assimilate into American culture and society as a result of the cultural similarities and in the vocabulary and accent in spoken English. French-speaking Canadians, because of language, culture, and religion, tend to take longer to assimilate. However, by the third generation, the assimilation is complete, and the Canadian identity is more or less folklore. This took place, even though half of the population of the province of Quebec emigrated to the U.S. between 1840 and 1930. Many New England cities formed Little Canadas, but many of these have gradually disappeared. This cultural «invisibility» within the larger U.S. population is seen as creating stronger affinity amongst Canadians living in the U.S. than might otherwise exist. According to U.S. Census estimates the number of Canadian residents was around 640,000 in 2000. Some sources have cited the number to possibly be over 1 million. This number though is far smaller than the number of Americans who can trace part or the whole of their ancestry to Canada. The percentage of these in the New England states is almost 25% of the total population. Canadians who travel to the U.S. to escape their colder winter are known as snowbirds. They sometimes have residences south of the 37th parallel e.g. Florida, the Carolinas, Georgia, South Texas, Southern California, and Arizona. American cities founded by or named after Canadians Biloxi, founded by Pierre Lemoyne d'Iberville Bourbonus, named after François Bourbonus Chandler, founded by Dr. Alexander J. A. J. Chandler Dubuque, founded by and named after Julian Dubuque Juno, named after Joe Juno Milwaukee, founded by Solomon Juno Mobile, founded by Pierre Lemoyne d'Iberville New Orleans, founded by Lemoyne de Bienville Ontario, founded by George Chaffee St. Paul, first settled by Pierre Parent Vincennes, founded by François Marie Bissot. Topic: <inaudible> Canadian American Day. The Connecticut State Senate unanimously passed a bill in 2009, making June 24 Canadian American Day in the state of Connecticut. The bill allows state officials to hold ceremonies at the Capitol and other places each year to honor Americans of Canadian ancestry. Aboriginal Canadian Americans As a consequence of Article III of the Jay Treaty of 1794, official First Nation status, or in the United States, Native American status, also confers the right to live and work on either side of the border. Study Some institutions in the United States focus on Canadian American studies, including the Canadian American Center at the University of Maine, the Center for Canadian American Studies at Western Washington University, and the SUNY University at Buffalo Canadian American Studies Committee. Notable people See also American Canadians Category – American people of Canadian descent Canada–United States relations Franco-Americans French-Canadians Hyphenated American Little Canadas Quebec diaspora <laughs>